All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Maharakhakwadash, and always giving double honor to the elders and the apostles, the great most on our learn his truth from and tell you faithful like him. Continue pushing his truth. And this video right here, as you can see on the screen, is G-Man versus Sakari again. This was about a month to three weeks ago, two weeks ago, whatever. Um, brothers could check this video out. So I thought it was very funny, hilarious. Um, so, brothers, you can see it's the Sakari brothers, though, right? So they were just, just I'm just cutting the, the Christianity. Even no matter what camp they go up to, they're going to get cut. But that's what I'm going to prove in, in, in this uh, video here. Dealing with skin complexion, right? A skin color. Because G-Man was trying to say that those Jews, those fake, so-called, so those fake Jews living in Jerusalem or Israel are the people of God. And the brothers were going into scriptures such as Isaiah 14 and 2, um, proving that we're still in our affliction and we're going to get the heathens underneath us in the kingdom and bringing out scriptures, various scriptures that G-Man did not want to answer. They also brought out Isaiah 14 and 7 that the earth is not at rest until his devil is taken out of power. And I understood what the br brothers were going, but G-Man did not want to answer. But he did He did actually say that, um, that no, the world is not at rest now. He did actually say that. So he put his foot in his own mouth by saying that those are the people of the Most High. But I actually did a video, I might redo it, um, going into Isaiah chapter 2, proving that the Baffler Decoration and how Esau, Edom got into that land was by deception through a Baffler Decoration, which the Most High doesn't need no Baffler Decoration to put his people back in the land. So that's a cut on the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. And, you know, but let's stick to this right here. Now, I'm going to play this video. It's around 2836. I'm going to rewind it back some. And the shit that came out G-Man, government man's mouth is hilarious. These so-called Christians do not give up. They already been defeated. They already lost the battle and the war. But they still are like little crybabies. Hey, hey, I hate you Israelites. I'm going to get you Israelites. You know, trying to demonize us and say all kind of crazy shit. Well, anyway. They could G-Man could not answer the brother's question on Isaiah 14 and 2, where we're gonna possess our captors and possess them. And but anyway, let's rewind a little bit here. And let's play. And listen what he the brothers proving that, oh yeah, and he's gonna prove that the real Jews are are the the Israelites or, or the so-called Negroes? That's why he went into Acts chapter thirteen and one. But you gonna hear it? No, I'm not talking about you. Talking about the N word. By a guy, by a guy who's lost that terminology. Come on, man. So he's G man's complaining about he got called the N word. Got called the N word. The Bible, the Most High uses niggard in the Bible. Look it up. It's like in three or four different places in in the Apocrypha. Look it up. Look it up. So that's why the, I believe that's why the brothers went into Acts 13 and 1. Oh, we have. Yeah, we have proved we're Israelites. We are underneath the curses. We go through through the curses on a day-to-day -day basis, and we're still suffering until this day. We are the Hebrew Israelites, no doubt about that. Nobody else on this earth fits the curses and the prophecies like we do. We are the real Hebrew Israelites. Nobody on this earth. That's why all these other nations are trying to cut us off from being a people. We are those people. I'm an Israelite. Believe what I'm saying, gullible people. Come on. Come on, man. Seriously, come on. It's the book of, it's the book of Acts. Chuck Our spirit clearly bears witness that we are those people. Pursuant to what? Romans 8 and starting at verse 14 through 16. 13 and verse 1. Like Check this out. Look at the response. Jesus. So like if we keep on pausing it like this, but listen or listen to the response G-Man gives these brothers because he wants to refuse the color scriptures. Acts 13 and 1. Listen, listen to the answer. Sir, so if you're one of them, teachers, as yeah, you're one of them, you ain't Simeon. That was called nigger. That was called nigger. That was called nigger. That was called nigger. What does what nigger mean? What is the wow, you guys are ignorant. Oh, see that? Look, look, you see that demon coming out of G, man? Ignorant, meaning not know, right? But we know what you're trying to do, G, man. 
You ain't fooling nobody up here. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, G-Man. So what does the word, word a, a nigger mean in Acts 13 and 1, G-Man? That was the simple question. Answer the question, G-Man. Answer it. Now, there were certain prophets named um, Barnabas and Simeon, which were called nigger. Okay, so that's dealing with people, right? They were called that in Antioch, Syria. Those are Hebrew Israelites. The Apostle Peter, Barnabas, and other prophets. Oh, no, he's not ignorant because he knows what nigger means. Demon. Can I get a Caucasian over here real quick? I want you to read something the Bible and see how offended you get, sir. No, so, so can I get a Caucasian hey, 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 over here? Let, let's stop with the, the stupidity, dude. Stop with the stupidity. Let's There's a the country called Niger. Oh, man. Did you hear what he said? He didn't want to answer a simple question, Acts 13 and 1. So he says there's a country called Niger. Now, a country and people are two different things. Are two different things. That was speaking about the apostles being called nigger. Nigger. And they'll tell you that in the blue letter. Nigar, black or dark of skin. Really dark of skin, which would be Kadar in the Hebrew. When you go in a song, let's grab it. Fucking Demon, man. Wow. Just because he can't answer a simple question. So he beats around the bush. Anyway, Song of Songs, chapter 1 and verse 5. But I'm going to actually read 5 and 6. And I'm going to grab the definition in verse 6. I am black, but calmly, O he daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Now Solomon was a dark-skinned man from the tribe of Judah. Kedar well, was one of Ishmael's son, which was dark skinned because the original Ishmaelites are dark skinned and were dark skinned. Verse six, look not upon me because I am black because the sun hath looked upon me. Now, when you look at that word black, it literally goes into skin complexion. When you go into Yahweh Shai and uh, how Yahweh Shai looks in Revelation, the first chapter, it goes into skin complexion. John the Revelator seen our Lord. Now, when you go into that word, H7840, right? Blackest black. Swarthy. Let's look at swarthy on Google. Let's see what that says. Fucking demon. Come on, G-Man. Come on, G-Man. Dark skinned. Dark complexioned. Dusky. Dark. She looked frail standing next to her strong and swarthy brother. Swarthy means dark skinned. So the Apostle Paul, Barnabas, the Apostle Peter, all the other prophets and apostles, prophets, disciples, apostles, back then were dark skinned men. That's who was living in Jerusalem, dark skinned men. It's going to be a short video, but. And that's just that's that verse, man. It's so Job 30 and 30. Jeremiah 14 and 2, they are black unto the ground. The Jews mourn, they are black unto the ground. That is Kadar, meaning dark skin. It's not talking about the, the, the gates, but it's talking about the people. And how can you prove that? Let's grab it with a scripture. Talking about the country of Niger. What is the country of Niger got to do with the apostles looking dark skin? Are you fucking serious? Fucking retard. This is 2 Maccabees chapter 5 and verse 19. 2 Maccabees chapter 5 and verse 19. Nevertheless, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, did not choose the people for the place's sake, but the place for, for the people's sake. It's to say for, for the people's sake. So that's why we say Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. So it's not talking about the country Niger, because there's a country called Niger. Fuck out of here, man. This Deuteronomy, um, chapter 28 and verse 37, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37, until this day Esau, Edom causes black, he causes bywords, proverbs, he taunts us, causes Puerto Ricans, causes African Americans, but we're the ones that, that claim to be Israelites, right? And we're the ones that are out there prophesying like the ancient prophets of old, right? 
What are you so-called Christians doing? Everybody knows about Christianity. Everybody knows about the false name about, uh, of Jesus. Where is this kingdom at? I want to know. Then the end shall be, right? When the gospel of this kingdom shall be preached, then, you know, where is the kingdom at? It ain't here. That's because the Israelites are still this day in that captivity, being called black, being called Hispanics, being called Latinos, being called Africans, being called uh, Negroes, being called Dominicans, being called Haitians, being called Puerto Ricans. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. So the Israelites are scattered throughout these four corners of the earth. We're everywhere. The Israelites are everywhere. That's why you see these different camps popping up everywhere. Unbelievable, man. Come on, man. Seriously. Let's hear, let's hear the Sarah, one. Terry Levin. Terry Levin's going to have you guys for dinner later, man. Y'all just set yourself up to get destroyed later by a woman. Right? Right, my man? See that? You see, see, see how disrespectful these so-called Christians are? Because he can't answer the question, so he has to vouch or say, well, a woman is going to teach you. A woman ain't supposed to be teaching. A woman ain't like Cherry Lepster, not supposed to be wearing pants. Not supposed to be eating pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster. You so-called Christians are delusional. The real Christians that were dark-skinned, what, in Acts 11 and 26 were Israelites. That was talking about Ant Ant Syria, Antioch and Syria. There's different Antiochs. Was named after the uh, the um, the Seleucid Empire or Antiochian or Antiochus, but that's another history lesson in itself. So they were called what Christians first in Antioch, dark-skinned men, and the real Christians are Hebrew Israelites, not these fake-ass Christians like Cherry Love, Vocab Malone, G Man, all these demons. I can get you a beer too and all that other stuff and whatnot. That, that see, see how they try to deflect. They try to deflect and try to. Uh, uh, look at other brothers and that's what G-Man is doing trying to uh, instigate this uh, with this brother with the cameraman with these brothers and I'm uh, look I'm just bringing out this Akari cut G-Man that's all I'm bringing out that's all I want to prove with this because I thought it was an interesting video the brothers actually did a good job I ain't gonna front the brothers actually did a good job in cutting the the uh, G-Man the government man keep putting that camera on my face all right come on with ease they actually cut him with ease it was very easy it was effortless <laughs> and by the way, who taught all you other Israelite camps to go into the blue letter? It was our elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. You see that? I wouldn't be going into the blue letter and none of this, uh, all these other information sources if they ain't teach me that. That's why I like going into the New Testament in Hebrew, which I just got. That's why I purchased all, all, all these other books just to prove the name of the Lord and the name of the prophets in Hebrew, whether it's the Assyrian Hebrew or, you know, and just uh, just the Esau to cut itself further by printing up these other books, New Testament and Hebrew. So that's why I, I'm going into the blue letter. That's because we, 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 we have to know a bit of what, like our apostles say, the scriptures tell you that. Study to show yourself approved. We have to know what? Latin, Greek, and Hebrew. At least some of it. You ain't got to know every single thing in history. But you do have to know the history in order to understand the mystery. We have to know that. But not every single thing is going uh, to come boom right away. Oh, I know every, every part of it. No. It takes time. That's why you got different brothers that fulfill their, their specific lots. <laughs> Give me the definition. That's why the brothers is laughing because he already told you, nigger. Aren't we called nigger? Didn't the slave owner call you nigger? Hey, you speck. Till his day, they still do it. Give me a definition for you. Hey, he, he, gonna, he, gonna, he gonna believe it if the white man said it. Yeah, if the so-called white man said it, they'll, he'll believe it. He's cut, man. Okay, so it's talking about the country Niger, you No, it's not. See that? That's fucking retarded common, G-Man. If you can't answer something, don't respond, G-Man. This is Sirach chapter 5 and verse... Oh, man. Starting at verse 11. Be swift to hear and let thy life be sincere. So-called Christianity will never be sincere. They're not sincere by anything they say. They speak with a forked tongue and with patience give answer. 
He's not patient, so he does what? He doesn't study to show himself a proof, so how can he be patient to give an answer? It's impossible. They don't have it in them. If <laughs> Islam, they don't got it in them neither, man. We could use we could use the Quran to cut the is Islam. We could use the Quran to cut these Muslims. We'll fucking cut you with your own book. How about that? Matter of fact, shit, I might actually might have to purchase me one. <laughs> Just to bring out a couple of points, but anyway. If thou, um, verse 11, um, verse 12, if thou hast understanding, which so-called Christianity does not have, or so-called Christians do not have, answer thy neighbor. If not, lay thy hand upon thy mouth. And really that neighbor goes into brothers, you know? But answer thy neighbor. If not, lay thy hand upon thy mouth. So, gee, man, you should have laid your hand upon your mouth instead of giving the sacrifice of fools by saying that it's talking about the country Niger. The country Niger wasn't even around at that time as far as uh, na being named that. What the fuck is you talking about? It's talking about Niger. Like a little bitch. Verse 13. Honor and shame is in talk. So you should have kept your hand on top of your mouth. Honor and shame is in talk. So what? And you shame yourself with your talk. And the tongue of man is his fall, right? Because the tongue boasts proud things, G-Man. Watch what you say. Watch what you say, G-Man, because you're offending a lot of my, uh, brothers. You are fucking offending us. Watch what you say. It's too funny, man. It's talking about Wait a minute, is that an English translation? Wait a minute, is that an English translation? What is it in Hebrew? What is it in Hebrew? Kadar! No, 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 no. Kadar in Hebrew! Go into it, Song of Songs, Akim! talking about the country, though. No, it's not! Fucking fool! It's talking about the country. Where's it talking about? It says the prophets! They were called nigger! It doesn't say a land! Certain prophets. Certain prophets. And teachers. Peter. That's it. Simple as that. Simple as that. You should have, um, I don't know if you told, I ain't going to play the whole video, but you should have, you know, win a song of songs too. And I don't know if brothers, you know, just a long uh, hour and a three minutes, maybe I'm mistaken. And maybe they went into it, but that right there just cut G-Man with ease. And um, the, 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 the Hebrew word is Kadar, which means dark skin. That's it. Everybody was dark skin at one particular time in history, man. That's, they don't understand about Jacob and Esau, the story of why Esau was like, well, dang, this is Joshua. What the fuck happened to you? Loss of pigmentation. That's the so-called white man for you, man. What that, man? Giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Waha, Rechak, Wadas. Once again, double honors to the elders and the apostles, great millstone. All you faithful locked without the four winds, continue pushing, and shalom. Lord willing, this was an edifying video.